my god, I forgot to close out the game after changing the date. <sighs> oh my god. If Nook Auto filled that plot, it's war, it's over. Oh my god, please, 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 please. Oh god, I'm sick. I can't believe my dumb bitch ass did this. Oh, okay, yeah, my life's over. My life's over, there's some rando. Oh, there's a random home in my plot that I did not authorize. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me <laughs> in my life. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, it better, it better be Raymond. God, who the heck is that? Who even is this? I don't even know this man. Oh my God. Oh, this is a nightmare. This is my nightmare. Who the hell is this? Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you fucking lost? Huh? Do you live on this island too? That's, that's what he said to me. <laughs> I'm sorry? Cody, first of all, I've never even fucking heard of your ass. Second of all, not only do I live on this island, I own this island. I own this island. I choose who comes in and out. You are not authorized to be here, my little blue friend with the fin. Oh, I could kill him. I could. Ki I have a new enemy just for the sheer audacity that he exhibited coming to my island and planting his, his house down on my open plot because I'm an idiot and I forgot to switch the date. I'm going to kill this man just to let you know. And you live on this island too. Uh, what? Who's Cody? Who the fuck's Cody is this? Y'all, I'm actually so mad. Wait, wh wh what? Hold on. I'm, I'm dropping bottles and shit. Okay, one of my poor friends is, is getting called out. Who's little fucking Cody came running to my fucking island? I am so pissed right now. I don't want your Cody. Why is your Cody on my island? Oh my God, this is a nightmare. This is a fucking nightmare. Now I have Cody to deal with. One of y'all, one of y'all let your little Cody go and I hope you enjoy your fucking new villager plot because I got your Cody right here. I am... Oh my god. Oh, and he's a jock. I am sick to my stomach. I am violently ill. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. This is honestly... Snowboarding? I don't care. I don't know. I did... I'm sure you figured this out already, but sports are my life. Oh my god, he's a fuckboy. I feel like you and I are going to be solid competitors. Yeah, you can, you can say that twice. I can't wait to see what you got. And his... Oh my god, this is a nightmare. It just keeps getting worse. This is fucking color out of space. Like This is a Lovecraftian waking chasm of horror. Sick. I'm sick. I'm simply ill to my stomach. Gra gra. Yeah. Sherb, do you do commissions by any chance? Sherb, do you do... You know what, CJ, you should have never let this happen. Just kidding. It's not your fault. I love you so much, you gay king. Sherb, please. No. Sherb, I need you. I'll never, ever be calling on Sherb ever again, but I'm calling on him now. Cody. Cody. And he has the same house as Sherb. Honestly, you know what? If anything, maybe me and Sherb have a mutual enemy. I am sick. Look at all these weeds. Like, oh my god. Okay, okay, the bad news is Cody's here from someone else's island. I'm mad at you. Just kidding. I think it's a meme. Honest to God, please <laughs> claim this Cody because like we're forever linked. Your Cody just showed up on my island. Do you understand the gravity of that? I just can't believe it. Sherb. Oh God, thank God it's you. I always dig running into you like digging graves. Yeah, Sherb. No, no time for being coy. I know you're a serial killer. Okay. I know that you kill people. I know that you commit homicide on the regular. I'm not going to tell anybody. I think we can work together because I'm feeling quite homicidal right now, but I don't want to like commit the homicide. I want to commission that to occur. I would like to um, facilitate the uh the space in which you would feel empowered to do that if that makes sense so i figured if you are willing i know that you might not have the capacity to understand uh teamwork and, and a partnership this is me a desperate desperate weary soul coming to you who I'm going to be quite honest, you have been the target of my uh, obsession in terms of, I'm, I'm basically, I'm Al, you're Kira, honestly, let, let, let's just like say it like it is, but I think we need to come together for this, I really do, uh, Cody, 
you may have seen him, but he's stealing your vibe, sure. He's blue, and he's got the same house as you, and I don't like that. I think we can only have one blue boy in a blue house on this island. You know, that's you. You're a star, Sherb. I'm like stroking as a narcissist ego. You are a star, Sherb. I mean, you're wearing the shades. So I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I think we need to kill him <laughs> swiftly and in a way that I won't be uh, in implicated in any way because I have a life. I, as do you. So that's why we need to help each other get away with this. <laughs> I get that you had a dream about this. This is great. It's making me sick, like physically ill. Yeah, so sure, I would love to work with you. And I would love for you to let me know uh, how I can, again, facilitate that. So this is a code red. <laughs> Code blue, in fact. Code red, code blue. Like I am, I have all of a sudden, look at look at the look at him. Like we're working together. Me and Kira. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me and the, the killer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 And it's not my proudest moment, but it needs to be done because Cody is not supposed to be here. This was never supposed to happen. Anka, Anka. What the hell? Anka. What the hell, bitch? Oh, and I can't even get to her. She's so exclusive. Are you kidding me? This bitch. Honest to God can't get to Anka. And you know what? <laughs> Must be for a reason. She probably wants to be left alone. I don't blame you, bitch. This island is on fire. It's worse than ever. Cody. Cody's here. Hello. Oh, my God. Co <clears throat> Kind of can't believe it. Pom pom, can you fucking believe it? We got a fucking rando walking around. Who's this Cody dude? I just, yeah, I was thinking about you too and just making sure that you're safe because there's a random man walking around. I wanted to like explore the update and do all that, but Cody's here and we have to deal with that, okay? But like on the real though, <laughs> Animal Crossing, why do you make it so that the most recent villager won't move out? That is so sick. It's so sick. It's just sick. Because we don't get to choose those people sometimes. I can't think of like a worse villager. I mean, I guess I could think of like several. I mean, what if it was like literally Wart Jr.? Oh my God, that would have been so funny. I actually maybe would have like appreciated that for the comedic. Oh my God, I walk in here for a, a minute of solace, for a moment of peace. And Goose. Oh my God. Hell, just who the hell do you think you are? Everyone around me, they're just, they're driving me to insanity and they're driving me to murder. And I actually just had a meeting with Sherb in which I, I don't know, um, solicited him for murder. I don't know, for a murder for hire, I think. I think that's what I did, right? Of Cody, an innocent man who honestly didn't do shit. But that's the thing though, he didn't do shit, right? Oh God, goose. Yeah, I'm a mess this whole, oh my God, like I don't even like, what the hell even is this? Why is this here? Was someone on my island? Did someone come here and fuck shit up? What the hell is this flower? Did I put that there? Why is that there? Kyle, my life is falling apart. Yeah, I just, um, I don't know. Okay, where's my shovel? <sighs> the only solution is to uh, invite an amiibo camper immediately. Immediately. I can't stand a s another second of Cody on this island. So while Sherb is, is working diligently to take care of my problem and his problem, honestly, with the blue thing, you know, I'm just digging up these flowers because I'm like freaking out. I don't know. Like, I guess we could just go over what amiibos I have. Um, we can go to Harv's Island and like interview all of them and like look at them up close. You know what I mean? Yeah, I want to look at them. Unlike Cody, I don't want to look at Cody. Not ever again. Look, I still have like 20 Nook Miles tickets left. <laughs> this is devastating. Cody. 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 <laughs> I could kill him. It's still not Raymond. Y'all all were like, oh, I bet Raymond's in your queue. Raymond's not in my queue. All right, we are going to Harv's Island because this is a disaster. It's a calamity. It is a nightmare. We need to figure out who we're going to invite. You know what? I really think that this is all because I didn't... <sighs> Sorry, I just keep stopping myself because I'm so angry at myself because we all know, I know, you know, we all know that I made so many grave mistakes. Don't call me good buddy Orville because <sighs> you let Cody walk in here, didn't you? You just let him waltz in with his fucking cowboy hat. Have you guys seen his picture? <laughs> I just looked at his picture. It's worse than we thought, you guys. It's worse than we fucking thought. 
it really is. It's a disaster. So yeah, we're 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 clambering over to Harv's Island, and I really do think I deserve this for passing up not only Tiffany but Fuchsia and Pashmina. Okay, I should have taken every every one of them. Like I should have I should have taken them. Why? Why didn't I take them? You know, I just I don't know. I just wasn't. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't feel the spark. Quote unquote. No, we're not doing that shit anymore. This isn't about a spark. This is about life or death. And right now. <laughs> I have a for person on my island who is going to die as a result. Cody, hate to do it to you, but unfortunately, you're going to have to pay the price for my my oversight. Um, so, yeah, we're going to take a look at some of the candidates for my island. We're going to see, I don't know. Yeah, we're just going to interview people. We're going to look at them up close and we're going to make a decision. OK, because we we, ha we must. We simply must. And in the meantime, Sherb is working to formulate a plan to get rid of Cody. Chelsea, is it? Is it che Chelsea? It's nice to meet you, Chelsea. Thank you for joining us today. Um, so yeah, everybody's talking about you guys, huh? Like, wow. Apparently, it's actually, it's it's today that those came out, I think, and they sold out everywhere. And I got so lucky. Oh my god. Um, because an angel from up above sent me all of the these amiibo cards of the Sanrio villagers long before this digital thread shop on instagram my absolute bestie just sent me all of the sanrio amiibos like custom made ones um just like for the for the like posters and stuff like months ago months and months ago and now so i have all these bitches loaded up so this is chelsea <laughs> and chelsea is here to talk to us today about why she doesn't deserve life on molokai because you know what i think that I think she's too nice. I mean, look at her. Look at the girl. She's beautiful. She's cute. She's adorable. And she doesn't deserve this, right? I don't know. You know, I just feel like she doesn't deserve it. But like, if I could get all your items, that'd be so great. Thank you, Chelsea. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chelsea. It's honestly for the best. You don't want this position, I swear. All right, next up is Henry. Henry is somebody that, as many of you know, but many of you may not, I have been wanting to encounter Henry. I've been wanting to meet this man. Um, in New Horizons for a long time. He is a beautiful just frog. <laughs> just your standard typical frog. He's wearing a jean jacket. What kind of villager is Henry? Because he looks very... <laughs> like he... I don't know. I thought he was more humble than this. <laughs> he's just giving me a look that just makes... makes It makes... It's, he's giving me vibes that he thinks he's already got this in the bag. You know what I mean? And I'm like, Henry, not so much. But then again... He is a very cute, cute young man, like just a frog in a jean jacket, like who tried, who like put effort into his outfit. That's a beautiful thing to me. Yeah, he's a smug. He's a smug villager. <sighs> okay. You know, I love the smugs and it's just uh, the idea of a smug frog villager is very beautiful and cute to me. But at the same time, it's like, do we really want, you know, like why? Why are we bringing another man into the village? But then again, why not? I don't know. You know, it's like, I don't know. I really don't know. Henry, I love you. I just don't know. I think we're going to go through the other candidates and we'll see where we land. Now, when it comes to frogs, you guys already know how I feel about Drift. I mean, look at this smiling, happy boy. I can't. He is the cutest fucking Animal Crossing villager. Look at this smiling, happy boy. He's wearing this t-shirt. Oh my god, I could die. This t-shirt, it's almost like it's too long for him, even though it's just a normal t-shirt. Oh, he's so cute. Everything about him. Look at this baby. What kind of villager is he? How could he be anything other than what he, he must be lazy or something? What is he? Or no, is he a normal boy? Come on, Drift. He's so cute. Come on. Drift? He's so, he's a jock. Drift is a jock. He's so cute. And he's a Libra. Oh my god, no way. And his initial phrase is bra. Oh no. And his skill is shadow puppetry. But he's so cute. Oh, what? He's a jock though, but he's so cute. Look at how cute he is. But he's a jock. <laughs> I almost like don't want him to come to my town, show me that he's a jock, and like ruin my beautiful vision of, of this beautiful, cute little baby boy. You know, look how cute he is, come on. Yeah, I don't know if, if having Drift come is the right decision. I just don't know, yeah. I don't, you know, we already have two jocks and 
I don't want to, I don't want anything to, I don't want, you know what? Yeah, I don't want Drift to come to my island and get ruined. Like what on earth would be more heartbreaking than Drift coming to my island and he ends up being like a fuck boy? Like, I guess it is all men, you know? Maybe, maybe it really is all men because apparently Drift is also a fuck boy. All right, next we have Marshall. Marshall is obviously a villager that all of you know that I've wanted for a while. I mean, look at him. He's so cute. Look at his little tail, his little feet. He's so small. He's so cute. He's so smug. Um, but like, what would his purpose be? You know, he just, I don't honestly think that he at this point fits into, I think he's going to be a good one for my next island, my new island that I'm going to eventually be making. Um, because I just don't see him fitting in anywhere. I think he's just going to walk around and be cute and that's it. You know, you know what I mean? Like what role is he going to play in all that? You know, you got to be bringing something to the table. So yeah, I just, yeah, let's, um... Let's say no for Marshall for now, even though he's got that side bang. It's so cute. Marshall and the toe beans. Ugh, okay. Kiki really is one of my favorite girls. And I mean, look at her. She is just everything. She's just excellence in every way. Um, but I feel worried for her going into the fray, knowing that Marina and Lily and Anka, though, maybe she would be a good match for Anka. Not that everybody needs to have a match, you know what I mean? That's another thing. It's like, it's like not everybody needs to have a, like a pairing, you know what I mean? But then again, it's, it's, it's Malika. Like, what do you expect? But also, I don't know, you know, do I trust Marina to be Kiki? Sweet, precious Kiki's neighbor? Not sure, but I love her though. Look at her sweet face. Oh, Kiki, I love you. You know what? I really do love Kiki. I really do love her. Is she normal? She's just a normie. Yeah. Yeah, we already have all these normal girls that are so cute, so sweet, except for Marina, who is on a tear right now. But, you know, she's obviously a sweet girl when she wants to be. And, and in her in her essence, in her soul, I don't know. I don't know if the island is stable enough for Kiki. Or maybe it's, maybe this is exactly what we need. You know, a girl like Kiki, a dependable, sweet, wonderful girl like Kiki. Who knows? You know, we do need more fights. I feel like it's been so long since anybody's gotten out of fight on the island. <laughs> and that that would be, I think, something that Kiki would not be bringing to the table. So I'm not sure. It's nothing against her. I mean, look at the girl. How could you ever, how could you falter for anything at all, ever, you know? This obviously comes as no surprise to anyone. He is fabulous he's what i mean he, he's the villager i was looking for out on those dirty i would have taken him on that villager hunt if i had encountered him and yet here i am like questioning that look at him he can't he doesn't even have the decency to open his eyes and look at me in the eyes i i couldn't stand him harder i mean honestly i think it must be julian however i do have a few other considerations that i want to take a look at <laughs> even though this i, I mean I just, I, I don't know if I want to slap him or give him every penny in my bank account. You know what I mean? Look at him. He's sitting there like he's too good for us, and that's exactly why I want to drag his ass down to Malachi so he can suffer with the rest of us. You're not too good for us, Julianne. You're exactly our type, I think. I don't know yet. We have a few more I want to go over. I mean, obviously, he is the savior of the broken, the beaten, and the damned. Uh, he's a phantom to lead us in the summer, but it's not summer yet. And also, Zucker just left. Like, if you don't know already, Wade is another one of the, like, little prophet children that I foresee saving us all in the end in, in the end times. Because he's this little baby emperor penguin, but he's, like, a baby, and he's our size. So he's probably going to be, like, so big when he grows up, and he's going to be able to save us. Because he's just going to be this giant penguin. Um, and look at him. Look at his face. Like, I... <laughs> I almost just want to invite him, but I first and foremost, I don't think he's ready yet because he's still a baby. Oh, he's so cute. Look at how fucking cute Wade is. Is Wade not the cutest villager in Animal Crossing? Is it? Is it official? Is it true? Oh my God, he's so cute. Wade, he's so fucking cute. I kind of can't even handle it. He's so cute and I just don't even know if I trust my island with him. Yeah, he's too precious. He's simply too precious, you know? All right, we've got Ituel. Is that how you say that? Ituel, right? It means star, right? I could be, watch me be like totally wrong and everybody who's like actually speaks French is gonna be like, Amanda, stop. I think it means star, Ituel. And she's beautiful. She's a star, of course. However, 
Can you just imagine this positive, happy bitch walking around Molokai? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like avoiding drama as if. She's going to be smiling, like walking around. I'm not going to ruin her life like that. You know what I mean? I'm going to take the items. Thank you for visiting Harv's Island and giving me access to all your items. Appreciate it, eat well. Really do. But yeah, no, I'm not going to ruin her life like that. Not eat well. Never. No. Marty, hello. You're cuter in person, Marty. You are. I'll say it. I hate the butt rug. I don't like it. I just don't like it. Okay? <laughs> just like a whole butt out on your floor and you're stepping on it. You know what I mean? So thank you for everything, but I, I will not, I probably won't be using the butt rug. <laughs> um, not that I, I don't know. That makes me sound, sound so like not fun. I just, it's a, it's not a butt. It's a butthole. <laughs> okay. I'll say it. I'll be the first to say it. Not that I have anything against buttholes. I just don't want it on my rug because I am a Karen apparently, right? <laughs> apparently. Marty, is that an acorn on your head? Marty. He doesn't even know. He's not even aware. And you know what? For that, can't help but stand. Love the eyebrows. This guy is a champion. He's a champ. And he doesn't deserve life on Molokai. He deserves something bigger and better. He deserves life in the big city where he can actually make it in 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 in, in whatever he chooses to do. Because I think he can do whatever he sets his mind to. Oh shit, I forget this one's name. Hi, hey, how, how are you? Yeah, let me just look at this paperwork real quick. I don't think it says it on the amiibo. It straight up does not say her name on the amiibo. Uh, you, you are killing, I love the ghost thing on your head. I love that, that is so me. So my style, I love ghosts. Toby, right? Is this Toby? This isn't Marty and the other one's Toby, right? This one's Toby. Yeah, this one's Toby. Okay, Toby's the one with all the frog stuff too. Good for Toby. Thank you, Toby. Yeah, we love to see you here, Toby. We like, we, it's been great meeting you. Honestly, Toby, I think you're killing it. I love the shirt. I love the hair. I love the ghost pin apparatus thing. And therefore, because I just love everything you're doing, I think that you gotta keep doing it elsewhere. World tour, baby, world tour. Don't stop here, keep going. Keep going till you reach the moon, okay? Was that all the, the Sanrio villagers? Wasn't that all of them? Was that every single one? There's not another one that I'm forgetting, is there? Not any others, right? I probably need to do this just real quick. I just don't even think she needs to sit down. I think she pops in and out and I can get the items, you know, and I just hope that Zucker is gonna be available if this goes south. You know what I mean? Oh my God, okay. My God, my God, Rilla. I just can't believe it's you in real life, in the flesh. My God. <laughs> Everything about this girl is spectacular. Spectacular, Rilla. <laughs> Oh my God, oh baby, why you wearing capris? <laughs> Are you a human with skin or is that your hair? <laughs> and it stops and you have human skin. It's just everything with this villager, come on. I can't be the only one. I think I'm the only one saying it, but I don't think I'm the only one who thinks it. I mean everything. They did her dirty in the design room. Come on, Rilla, you can't trust these people. They are lying to you, Rilla. <laughs> it's cruel. It's downright cruel <laughs> to send her out looking like this. Everything. Everything. The bow nose, bow tie nose, whatever that is. The um, eyes <laughs> and eyelashes and the hair. It scares me. I hate it. I mean, everything. Look at this like white hair poking out. Um, I don't know. And you know, I'm just judging this girl. I brought her here to judge her. I don't think so. That's not me. Rilla, you are free to go, Miss Girl. I, I'm going to be wishing you the best. Honestly, it's not her fault. It's just not her fault. I'm just, yeah, I'm done with this interview. I'm leaving. Bye. I just don't think this is right for me. All right. <laughs> Some people who are in my Discord will be quite surprised or maybe not surprised to see this gentleman sh joining us today because if you are lucky enough to be one of my patrons, therefore in our Discord where we um, have, I don't even know, a whole life outside of this, like a whole... I don't know. We just have a family, a community, a life, a, a, a purpose. I don't know. It just is our home. <laughs> um, then you know that at 2 a.m. I might just write an entire fanfic about how Ken is um, a, just a, a, a ruthless 
ruthless chess playing bad boy who actually caught the eye of Goose. <laughs> So my head cannon, wow, I'm like putting borders on him. I just can't help it. Look at him. Look at Ken. Who isn't talking about Ken? Everybody? Is the answer everybody? Yes, it is. I mean, look at him. Come on. Who can resist? Yeah, I'm putting borders. It's hard to pay attention. I apologize. Ken is obviously very handsome. I mean, God. <laughs> Kill me dead, Ken. Come on. So in my little fanfic, we were just we just always make shit up and then it becomes a fanfic. <laughs> Um, oh, we were talking about how Goose might have like a small crush on Pierce just because like, you know, they've been getting so close and he's getting married and maybe Goose is like experiencing a little bit of jealousy with that. And so he goes outside after at like the bachelor party and then he sees Ken outside and he's like smoking a cigarette and he's like so cool and Goose is like feeling a spark but Ken's like just trying to play with him like he's a little cat toy because Ken is a chess playing bad boy I don't know and he ch plays chess which isn't really anything it doesn't mean anything but it does because he's just like a badass he's so intelligent that he can just play chess like it's a game because it is <laughs> and he like smokes cigarettes but only like to look cool it's not even like an addiction and yeah that's Ken and like what would he do on my island I don't know wreck Goose's life wreck others others lives as uh, in the process possibly i don't know i really don't know <laughs> on the on the other hand like do i really want to be giving a, a villager to goose but then again is it gonna humble goose is it gonna make goose a better person to get hurt by this man i don't know i just don't know um ken thank you for coming i'm not sure i have to consider it okay i'm gonna call some references okay just to make sure you're really this great and also this dangerous and this actually honestly bad of a person when it comes down to it a bad person yeah <laughs> but also very very charming and very handsome and i will yeah I'll, I'll i'll be in touch okay roscoe i don't even think i invited you here why are you here wait yeah i guess i invited him but i i'm not roscoe why are you here you should know that I'm trying to take this process seriously. Uh, the leather jacket was unnecessary in every sense of the word. Um, I'm not sure what you what you think you're bringing to the island. I mean, he's, um, you know, he's a horse. He's uh, got emo hair. I'm pretty sure he's a, cr he's an, he's an, a cranky villager. He's like a grumpy, cranky villager. So, like... We don't have one of those, but like, do we need one? Not really, right? <laughs> like, last thing I need is first of all, this like emo king horse who wants to be a lawyer, who is friends with Kyle and Zell, like walking around acting like he owns the place, wooing everyone in his path. Second of all, I don't need this emo horse who is a, who is a, a king, who is awesome, who is successful, who is thriving, who is young acting like he's old i hate that the cranky villagers do that like he's gonna be like oh my hips my, my back like and he's like literally in college like <laughs> trying to be a lawyer come on i'm sick of it roscoe i didn't ask you to come i didn't invite you to come and yet here you are what is your intentions with my island you know what i mean like i just don't think that this is gonna work out roscoe i really don't i think that you i think you should leave roscoe that's what i think okay I don't know. I d you know what? Leave the chair, but not the room, okay? <laughs> You're on standby. Whatever. This is what I should choose in every regard. This is Cherry. You know, I've always loved Cherry, that I've always wanted Cherry. She's a sisterly villager. She's not gonna come and put up with shit. Anybody's shit. Not my shit, not Marina's shit, not Goose's shit, not anyone's shit. But she's also gonna be like a helpful hand in getting through all of this you know it's like i think i think we really need her i think we need her to come in and and fix us and put us back together again you know it's like what more could i ask for i think she's like really the only sisterly villager that i have an me before but she's also one of my favorites like it's cherry come on look at her piercings like cherry hello it's cherry can you imagine anybody better cherry come on it's got to be cherry right come on okay I think we're down to three finalists. All right, we really find ourselves here with a Libra who is um, supposed to choose to make a decision. I don't even know why Roscoe's here in this lineup. Roscoe, 
why am I considering you? <laughs> Roscoe of all people. Really? Like, do I really need Roscoe? No. Yeah, probably not, right? I mean, but I... I don't know. The fact alone that I, he's even here <laughs> is startling. I just wish I had brought Fuchsia home or Pashmina. I really don't know who I want. Like, oh my god, I'm such a fucking Libra. Like, I really... I, my brain is like, Roscoe? <laughs> Cherry? Oh, god. Cherry. It's gotta be Cherry. Roscoe, Julian. <sighs> yeah, no, yes, I kinda want Cherry, but I kinda want Roscoe. Or no, do I want Cherry or do I want Julian? You know what, people, I'm gonna choose when I get back on my island and look at my map, okay? I don't care, I don't know, I, I, I just, yeah, I'm having, I'm having a, a, an issue. I'm not choosing until I go home and look at my map. I don't know why, I just, Stay, stay tuned. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm bad at this. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, I can't choose. <laughs> All right. A decision has been reached in the only way I know how, aka messy, indecisive. Um, <laughs> wow. Everyone's out and about today. That's great. I mean, everybody's feeling good. Yeah. So out of the three options that we had, Julian, Roscoe, or Cherry, my messy, impulsive Libra ass decided to choose Diana. <laughs> Welcome, Diana. Oh my God, she's even more beautiful. <laughs> I love her. I'm sorry, no regrets, literally no regrets. I just randomly, it's so funny. Like I'm such a mess that I couldn't choose. When you give me choices, when you give me three choices, like pick one out of these choices, I, I set myself up for disaster. Like literally nothing against, you know I love Julian. Someday I'll have Julian, whether it's on my new island or what. You know I love Roscoe, you know I love Cherry. But I, I doomed them, lining them up like that. I should have never done it. <laughs> I couldn't pick. And so I just randomly got a thought in my head and I was like, okay, why don't I, I, I remember I was like, why don't I go ahead and, and order the amiibos of like Pashmina and Fuchsia and Tiffany since, um, since I regret not choosing them so much. And while I was thinking of amiibos to order, I totally was like, oh my God, I forgot about Diana. I've always wanted Diana. And so here she is. I have no idea why or like how she's going to fit into the island. Like she, look at her. Oh my God, she's too real. You know, I wonder, because another thing that kind of pertured me was that I was looking up what um, personality types like get along and stuff. And I saw that sisterly villagers don't get along with snooty villagers like at all. And so I was like, we cannot have that. Like I don't want some bitch riding on his ass all day, pissing her off. That's the last thing I want. So if it was going to be another girl... I don't, I don't think we can have a sisterly on this island. I'm, I'm not sure. You know, I really just don't want anybody to bother Anka. <laughs> so why not another snooty? And look at her. I mean, come on. She's gonna, ah, oh, she's gonna wreck so many lives. I don't even know where to begin with this bitch. Like, oh my God, look at her. Look at us, besties. Girl, is there anything I can do to help you? Like, you want me to unpack some of these boxes? Actually, I'll get out of your way. You know, I, I like to do things my own way too. I'll be back tomorrow. She's gonna destroy the the whole town, the, the fabric of our society, as if it as if there is any fabric there. Oh, we've got to work on this. My God, yeah. Let me just take all of this away, actually, and then um, maybe tomorrow we can work on that. But yeah, she lives next to Marina. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. So we've really got to kick it into overdrive. I really don't know if I want this here. I think I'm gonna move it or just not have it. I don't know. I think because I think that's the last thing I need to worry about right now is some extra ass shit. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, we gotta do the plaza. We've gotta do, um, hey Marina, can I help you with something? Good afternoon, cutie. I bet you are, yeah, you're trying to make the most of, my, of your day by talking, to, thank you, Kyle. Wow, Kyle removed himself from the situation because she was, and then she followed him. Oh, she's a, she's a sly bitch. She was trying to talk to Kyle. I don't know why. I think she's just being friendly. I'm like probably reading it too much into it. But why did she move and start singing by, what are you guys, a duo now? Are you guys the Partridge family? Come on. What are you doing? Did it ruin your appetite? In intuitively eat whatever the hell you want. Oh, I'm sure. But he's starting to kind of try to be, I don't want to, I don't want to trust him too much because he really working with him. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not actually not at liberty to talk about any of that. Um, but let's just say it's worse than I could have ever thought. He's, 
he just doesn't hold back. He, I don't think he has any, he thinks he doesn't have emotions. I've given Diana a few days to settle in and she has so nicely and go, oh, I'm so sorry, Jesus. I just pushed my best friend, Anka. Oh, I was just thinking about you too. I haven't seen her and like Diana talk at all, but I, I hope that they'll get along. I think they will, right? Yes, it's so beautiful. I wouldn't say that Molokai looks like it could be the background of a fashion shoe because it's a fucking disaster mess right now in every form and way. But thank you for saying that. Oh, sure. What the? Who the hell even is that? God. Actually, <laughs> you know what? Today, earlier when I was playing this, I think it's like March 28th in the game. I didn't get to film it because I thought I would be back to film it later. I saw the waking nightmare and I swear to God, it really actually scared me because he was like up here fucking zipper T bunny. He was all the way like up here. I was just like running around, like having a mental breakdown like always. And I, I just ran right into him. And it, it honestly, honest to God, like I know we always say he's scary, but it really truly did scare me because he was just there. He, he, he was like walking around lurking and then he turned around and started like doing his thing. And I was like, Wah! and I, it was so terrifying. And I went to go tell Sherb and I told, cause the whole thing with me and Sherb is complicated, I will explain. But I like ran to tell Sherb and I was just like, hey, like, I'm just scared. And I just, can you just have my back if he, if anything happens? And now I've been looking for him because I wanted to film, like, I wanted to, to cover that. I wanted to be like, look at him. He's so scary. And like, just kind of drag him basically. And I can't fucking find him. He's gone. And I know he's supposed to come like the day, like he comes like, he comes one day to tell you about Bunny Day and then he leaves until Bunny Day. But like today's, it's still supposed to be that day that he's here you know? And he's gone. I looked every, I, lo I have looked everywhere. We can keep looking, but I have looked everywhere. Cause again, I specifically wanted to film him. He's gone. And these trash bags are there. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. It, it's, it's a, it's a precursor to the fact that I think I'm starting to rethink the Sherb situation on the island. I think he might be a good asset. Basically, I think he might, he might it might be good to have him in in my corner. Hi, Diana, you're so beautiful. Hi, girl. Please come in, make yourself at home, cutie. Well, first and foremost, I was already in. I let myself in. I didn't ask, and uh, I appreciate you inviting me in when I was already in there because that it is awkward that I barge into your house, and I'm sorry. I've gone rather gaga over painting lately. Oh, she's so quirky. I'm working on my PS de resistance now. In fact, it's quite daring probably butchered that pronunciation. It's fine. See, it's both a landscape painting and a portrait, and I call the art style abstract surrealist realism. I think she's making all of this up as she goes, and I fucking love her for it. Of course, I'm adding only one brush stroke each day, so it'll be some time before anyone sees it. Bitch, okay, I'll buy it. I gave her the, the glasses the other day. Oh my god, she looks so damn cute in them. And this pearl bed, like, this is your bed, Diana. Are you kidding me? I'm very particular about my bed. Clearly, I sleep extremely well on my shell bed here. I mean, just look at me. <laughs> they don't call it beauty rest for nothing, cutie. Like, she's just living the high life here, and we love to see it. Anyway, I, I actually did get some stuff um, for her yard that we can put together. She has less space than I thought which is usually the case so i really don't know even what i'm gonna do but in the meantime we can talk a little bit more about sherb who's that Co you you're asking about i'm oh, sorry what what happened to cody cody like with a c with a k the villager i have no idea what you're talking about cody is that, that is that an animal crossing villager you got you have him no yeah i have no idea what you're talking about sorry no 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 we've never had a villager named cody here not to my knowledge no no, yeah, I'm, I don't know if you're mixing it up with maybe like with Zucker. Zucker's the last person who lived in that house. And then Diana came along. Yeah, no, I have no, I've never heard of or met Cody. Yeah, no idea what you're talking about. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, it's, it's odd. This might be cute. Um, hmm. I'm almost thinking it might be cute, like pushed right up against the house. I also kind of want to mess with Marina's like... What the hell even is that? I think that was from Chevre and I was lazy and I never changed it. That's not Marina style, you know? Let's see here. Um, Like how, cause I like this bench a lot and it just doesn't make sense to have a random door. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, that might look nice. Yeah, I don't, yeah, right? Or something? Yeah, maybe we'll try that. 
Where, oh, did she just come out of the house? Damn! Oh my god. She just walked out like that. Jeez. Give us a warning before you do that. Where, where are you going, Miss Witch? Miss Wicked Witch of the West with your broomstick? You're going to sweep the, the, the sidewalk? Or are you just going to go fly away? Freaking Kiki's delivery service over here. God damn. I'm sorry. I'm just like following her. She's amazing. She's a vision. Yeah, I think I'm just going to follow her. She's just holding the broom. I don't know where she's off to. Oh my god, she's... Is she waving to Aga? Aga's like hiding behind a tree. Dude, this is... What are they doing? Aga, I saw that bitch. That was really some like once upon a dream shit. She came out with her broom and brought it all the way to the town square so that she could sweep the town square. Sharp, remember what I said about Diana? We like Diana. She's going to stay with us, okay? Where's Anka? They were like going around the tree and stuff. Anka's like, is she like shell-shocked? You can't see her because she's behind the fucking building, of course. She's like shell-shocked. Look at her. She's just holding her sticks, doing really nothing. Girl, you okay? Thank you for checking in with little me so often today. Yeah, apparently you need it, girl. Oh my god, look at her. She's a vision. There's like bees and shit flying around like she's Cinderella. Oh my god. Sherby. Sherby. No. Don't get any... No. Be nice. Be nice. Good boy. See, you just, you, he needs, he just, he likes a firm hand. He likes direction, actually. I think it goes well for him when he's on the loose and there's no one really there to, like, direct him or control him, to be quite frank. Um, I just, yeah, I want to kind of control the situation, actually. But he, he, oh my god, Sherb, tone it down a notch, okay? You don't just say that to, to, to people. Whoa, Diana, you smell really pretty. Thank you. I've been unsure if this new fragrance is flattering. It's called Eau de Truit. You've heard of it? Uh, ha, 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 nope. Hey, you should try smelling me too. I'm not sure if this is not how, like, interactions go, but he, I he think he's trying. I think he's trying. Are you trying out a cologne as well? Let's see. I detect notes of, ugh, what is that? Oh, it's probably fucking blood. Moldy mushrooms? Yeah, that's what it is, Diana. It's definitely moldy mushrooms. Uh, no hint of lime or blood or flesh at all whatsoever. Yep. I'm not wearing cologne. I just wanted to be smelled. <laughs> Thanks, Diana. Oh my god. I see. Well, that scent is very you. Don't mind him, honestly. Just, I would say, keep up the good work. Uh, you are very polite, and I I highly suggest continuing to just show him mercy at, at every given point. And if he, honestly, if he freaks you out or does anything a little too much, you just come to me, okay? I'm kind of, his, I've kind of become his handler, so to speak. So, uh, and help yourself, by the way, I put all this stuff out, help yourself, it's all up for grabs, Sherb. I would suggest, um, you know, especially when somebody's brand new in town, just kind of staying in your own personal bubble. But thank you for treating her kindly. Because again, Diana is somebody that we like and that she's our friend, okay? Along with everyone on the island right now who lives here every single day. Label right there, as we know we've talked about. She's nice. She's our friend too. Hi. Oh. Hey, Sherby. Good boy. That was very good, Sherby. Good boy. That's exactly what we want to be doing. Yep. And you help yourself to all the candy, okay, baby? Good boy. See, he he really does well. I think that it, um, who's that? Lily. What are you doing, Lily? She, she sat down and then got up. She's like, oh, not this spot. Oh my God. She's so cute. Oh, damn it, Lily. No, I think Sherb, like, he is obviously very scary, evil, bloodthirsty individual. However, I think it, he actually does do well under a firm hand, under control. He would be a very good minion. He'd be like a very good like, um, I'm trying to think of like the dynamic of that. It's like, you know how like an evil person and they have their like, their creature that they send out, you know what I mean? And, and then that creature will do their bidding. You know what I'm talking about? What is it? What is it? I'm trying to think of something. It's like, 
The first one that came to my mind, not even kidding, and there I know there's even better ones, but the first one that came to my mind is Lotso and Big Baby. He's like Big Baby, you know, where he just does all of Lotso's bidding. But there's an, I guess, yeah, Big Baby's a good one. Oh, what's the other one? Um, Where is that? Oh, there it is. Oh my God, I don't even know. You know what I mean though? It's like the scary like creature that they send out. Does that look good? That actually, um, does it? Uh, kind of? I don't know, actually. I don't think so. Anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is that, you know, whereas I was once very scared of Sherb, very critical of him, very like, I'm on to you, I'm gonna get you. I think now, you know, I still, I still don't fully trust the guy, don't get me wrong. But I think that we can have a mutually beneficial partnership and I think that I'm in control of that which gives me comfort you know I don't think that he I don't think that he's 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 pl pulling the strings here and I think that he is I don't think that he's stupid by any means I think he knows what he's doing as well but anyway I think I kind of want to bench there but I kind of don't I don't know um I think it may be in my best interest to keep Sherb close basically to keep you know friends close enemies closer you know what I mean that kind of thing I think I'm starting to realize that that may be the case here it might be not only safer for me and for the town because then I can just be like Sherby it makes me sad when you kill residents when you kill my friends you know and, and uh that can be really helpful because I think he really does I think he likes me and I think he kind of sees me as like a mother figure to him at this point kind of like Jason see where he's like Jason you know where he um yeah, kind of, except for not, yeah, a little bit. Well, no, because Jason is also, in my opinion, sympathetic character for me. <laughs> Whereas Sherb, again, he's much more aware of what he's doing. I think he genuinely just enjoys it, enjoys killing, and he doesn't have to have anybody tell him what to do. <laughs> However, when he likes someone, I think when he like imprints on someone as he has with me, I think that he will listen to, to their direction. With Zipper T Bunny, I was really, really scared. He was ruining my life. You know, the presence of him, it was terrifying to me, beyond terrifying in so many ways. And I didn't like it and I didn't want it in my sight. I was so scared. And lo and behold, it just, it appears as though Sherb has, has taken care of that worry for me, you know? And that is a good thing, in my opinion. And I'm happy knowing like, if they try to send another zip, because obviously it's a costume, the zipper thing. Um, so if they try to send like for bunny day, like another zipper T bunny costume person, I just, I feel safe knowing that Sherb is on my side now. And he's kind of, if anything, waiting for my direction. I like that. I think that that's a good thing. But anyway, yeah, I think, I don't know, you know, stay tuned for sure because I don't know how it's going to go with that. But right now it seems like Sherb really does like respect my direction and uh he responds really well to it that's what i'll say i'll try i think this probably won't go here yeah no nor will me oh, why do they always the, they think the they assume the first thing you want to do if you press a while you're standing in the flowers is pick the flowers why that is so annoying Ugh. anyway um yeah so that's surprising never thought i'd be sitting here saying that kind of thing that you know there's some kind of an understanding between Sherb and I oh so that's how wait let's see how the trash works hold on wait how does the trash work oh see this is my first time ever using the trash y'all told me all about that thing with the trash um I think you have all probably noticed by now that I have a very I very interestingly, no, that's kind of out of the way. I have an interestingly kind of distinct brain because in many ways, I could admit it, um, I am smart. I know that. I know that I'm a, I'm a smart person. I don't think that I'm dumb in general. I think that I'm smart. You know, I'm able to retain lots of information regarding all of the science and the biology that I studied for many years. I had a 3.9 GPA. I got scholarships because I did so well in the last few years of high school. Uh, and so I know that I'm not stupid. That's why it doesn't bother me <laughs> when people are like, oh my God, you're so dumb. Because I am in so many ways. And it's actually, 
you know, it doesn't it doesn't make me sad because it it's 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 in ways that I can almost like be amused by, you know, just ways that it does make my life hard every day because I, I lose things every day and things that no one else would would lose, like things that you shouldn't lose. I lose all the time. Um, I can either have like an amazing memory where I remember like every single thing that someone's ever told me. And then on the other hand, I can, I, I often, very often forget why I walked into a room. I, and it's kind of like a, it's, it's a joke between me and Matt because it's just something that kind of affects my everyday life. And it's almost like, again, I, I do acknowledge that I am a smart person for the most part and that I like the way that my brain works. I like the way that I uh, see the world, I, that I perceive things. But it's almost like there's a dead zone in my brain, right? Where it's just like, you know how like when you, um, when you have a Christmas tree and you have like a string of lights and maybe there's like a short in it. So it's just a, a little strip of the string of lights. Oh, she said she was like into painting now. Maybe I'll give her a painting set or something. But anyway, it's like you have a short in, in your string of lights. So a little strip of it is out. That's how I see my brain. I think that there's just a dead zone in it that makes it so that just randomly I end up being one of the dumbest bitches who ever lived. Just randomly. I'll just be like so dumb. Like how I had the ladder with me and you guys all saw me running around trying to craft a ladder even though I was looking right at it. I don't know how I didn't see it. I just fucking didn't. I, and then yeah, the trash can thing where I was like literally bringing shit with me to mystery islands as if I thought that that was, that that made more sense that I, I, I couldn't for a million dollars imagine what animal crossing. Oh, didn't know we could uh, customize these. I couldn't imagine not for a million dollars, what animal crossing could have possibly implemented in its game for us to get rid of things we didn't want. Never for a second, even though I've owned trash cans, I've seen the trash cans, I've used them in my own decorating. If you had offered me a million dollars to guess how you how Animal Crossing intended us to throw things away, I would have never guessed, not for a million dollars, that it was in the trash can. <laughs> Which is, quite frankly, it's remarkable how dumb I can be sometimes. It really is remarkable. And there's just like a million other examples of this. I think a lot of a lot of people probably in the Discord are starting to pick up on it. <laughs> They're just like, Amanda, what? Girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, and Matt is constant. He could probably he could probably name a lot more instances where I was so stupid and dumb. I'm like, again, my ability, I'll have to tell some some Amanda losing shit stories at some point because my ability to lose shit, it's remarkable. It's remarkable. There was one time that I got a flat tire when I was out. I was at like Barnes and Noble. And so I called Matt um, to come get me because I was going to have to have AAA come out because I didn't have a spare tire. So Matt came to get me and they got my car and we were going to follow it to the uh, to the mechanic so that we could bring my car's key and put it in their drop box so that they could have access to my car so that they could use it. And so I had my car key with me, of course, and I took it off of... The, I usually have my car keys on like a big lanyard because I lose things so often and it's so much less likely that I will lose, you know, a big lanyard that I have uh, like keychains dangling off of and shit. So I take my uh, key off the lanyard because I just, I don't know, I was like getting ready. Like I knew I was going to have to take it off, but for some reason I took it off as soon as I got into the car with Matt. And then, you know, I just, I, I don't even I remember the moment where I just forgot it existed, but I did. And I, you know, me and me and uh, Matt were talking and stuff, and then we get to the mechanic place, and um, I think this is—I don't really know if I like this, but I think it's—I think it's okay. I think it's okay for now. Yeah, for now. I kind of want her to have a chair, but I love that cushion, so maybe we'll do both. You know. Anyway, long story short, we get to the mechanic place. And the key to my car is nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. And the only place that I could have lost it was in Matt's car, right? So Matt's like, it's gotta be in here somewhere, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, yeah, of course, like that's what I'm saying. So we're looking, looking, looking. Long story short, we had to go home and get the spare and bring it back to put in the lockbox. We never found that key. We did never, ever, ever find that key. Still to this day, Matt has had his card detailed. Like we, he had, he, and he's got like OCD. So he like went in there hard and he like looked in every single spot. That's how good I am at losing shit. 
I lost it in his car and we never, ever, ever, ever found it (laughs) ever again. I don't even know how. I really don't. I just, my brain just stopped working at that moment and I will never know where I put it or how or why. Did I throw it out the window? Like we have no idea. Um, Another thing that I have lost twice now is my fucking medication, which is like, it's like a controlled substance. And you're like really not supposed to do that. Um, And so yeah, I've lost my medication twice. Have no fucking idea how. Um, Just so many things that I've lost. So many things that I've lost that are very important. Oh my God, documents. You gotta take those away from me. My social security card, like, you know, my, my friggin' like just important tax documents and shit. You have to take those away from me and file them somewhere or I will lose them. I don't even know how, I don't know where they go. I lose clothes all the time. Don't know where they go. So yeah, that's my that's my my burden to bear. I pronounce words in my own special ways for some reason because my brain just reads them weird. So that's the dead zone in my brain. I'm, I think I'm a smart person, but I I can be dumb as hell when I want to be or not when I want to be. Actually, if it were up to me, I wouldn't ever be dumb as hell. But I can sure sure I can certainly arrange a dumb moment. So that's me and I am aware of it. You guys are allowed to laugh at it because it's thankfully the kind of dumb that hasn't, I don't know, it's kind of, you know, it doesn't hold me back in life, thankfully. (laughs) But anyway, yeah, uh, we're going to finish up the little, you know what, there's a piano bench up here that I remember that I'm going to take and see if it looks good at Diana's. I think it will. But yeah, we're just finishing this up just for funsies. And then, yeah, because I think this piano bench will look better. And it's like a very cute, understated bench. And uh, we've got lots to do. Now that we have a villager that I think will probably stick around with us for for quite a while, we'll see kind of how she she blends into society. Um, But now we can really get started on the shit I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I'm going to just move this. It's going to be so much easier. See, that was a smart move, right? (laughs) Because normally I wouldn't. I would just have it make my life a living hell for no reason. Uh, Yeah, see, that's the one that I don't want. This is cute. Or is it? I don't know, actually. Yeah, so we've got Diana. She's here with us. She's she's here for now because I I had to choose someone else because I gave myself a decision. Never do that. If you're if you're a Libra or anyone else who's just like indecisive, don't do that. That was so dumb. Oh, that might be cute. I have one of those back home. That was dumb on my part. I I acknowledge that now. Um, just doomed all three of them. D- Julian, Roscoe, and Cherry just doomed them. But you know, like I said, we we've, we've got our new island coming. I know you guys keep asking me when I'm going to stream. I still need to get a new computer. I'm working on it. I keep saying that, but obviously it's expensive, so I have to save up for it but once we get there we can start that whole journey because i wanted to start that with you with the whole island you know i don't want to start it before i can stream it so i think that would be really fun and then uh yeah i don't know what's going on with me and sure but I, you know i'm not you know i don't want to jinx it or anything but i think it'll be in my best interest to keep him you know keep your friends close keep your enemies closer you know what i mean not that he's even an enemy at this point i wouldn't call him a friend and i wouldn't say that i understand him either because i don't i can't i can never understand why people would would kill you know (laughs) why they would choose violence I, i can't understand that however i think that i've found a happy medium and a place where i can i can be assured that he will listen to me so that I can protect my friends in this in this community and that you know I can also protect myself if there is a threat that I need him to d- take care of for me so I'm so glad that Diana just came to town right away right after Zucker that there was no other villager that sw- swooped in to make that difficult that would have been weird you know um gosh is there not like a, a bench that I like am I gonna have to because like gazelle already has this but like I, I'll, I'll just whatever I'll just order it but anyway yeah we're gonna yeah I'll finish up Diana's thing I think we're just looking for a bench I'll show that off in the next video and then yeah we're gonna get started with uh some some major renovations that we desperately need to take on Sherby Sherby we did it buddy oh who are you talking to I'm sorry he's on the phone what do you I didn't even know you had a phone um anyway this is for you look at Diana in the background Diana come on you don't have to be doing that shit 
okay? We know you're perfect, bitch. Anyway, I made this for you, just kind of as a symbol of our friendship. Um, yeah, it's your from from me, who, who is, is your mom, I guess. There are a lot of things like this, but you gave me this thing, so it's extra special. Once I've cleaned up my house, I'll set this out. I can't wait to hear what all my bug friends think about it. Yeah, no, it's a, it's actually a cake, so you can eat it. it. Doesn't really need to be. Um, who are you talking to? Are you taking a picture? Yeah, he's taking a picture of the topiary. What's wrong? What's what's? Okay. Anyway. Yeah. 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 Me and you are friends, Sherby. You go off and do your thing. Okay. Where's Diana again? She's just out here apparently. Like she's just the p perfect girl. So be nice, Sherby. Okay. Oh, jeez. Hey, Diana. You'll never guess what I'm totally hooked on right now. Riddles. They're so much fun. Even though they make me think real hard. Oh, Jesus. In fact, sometimes my noggin hurts from all the thinking. I have no doubt it does, Sherb. Now, when you say riddles, do you mean like, how is a raven like a writing desk? I never could figure that one out. Yeah, just like that, but totally different. See, I'm making up my own riddles, and they're way better. Hey, Popcorn, you want to hear one? Of course I do, Sharp, yes. Right on. Okay, here we go. What do a centipede and Diana here have in common? Oh, good grief, really? I don't know, Sharp. What do we have in common? You both own a lot of shoes. Get it? Diana's like, um, Sherb, how do you know how many shoes I have? And I'm also asking that question because he's never been invited into her home, and yet he knows, so it's obvious he's been there several times while she's been out, you know? I'm gonna have to talk to him about that later, but the good news is that he trusts me and he listens to me so I can tell him, hey, Sherby, don't go into Diana's house or anybody's house when they're not home, okay, baby? Good boy. You know, that's how, yeah, that's how we're doing this. Ah, yes, I see. My love of shoe shopping has provided you with a punchline. Hilarious, darling. Really. Now, let me give it a try, Diana. Go easy on him, okay? Don't upset him. <laughs> what do you and a used pencil have in common? Feel free to take your time. You might get it eventually, cutie. Diana. Diana, sweetie, just ignore him. You know, that's probably the best uh, thing to do. Thankfully, I don't think that he picked up that that was like an insult, but I just wouldn't recommend ins insulting him. I think he's fine, though. Yeah, he's off in his own little world. Not in Sherp's world, and we're all living in it, I guess. Or or, or are we, you know? We, we can live in it if I continue to, to, to appeal to his better nature, so. Me and my serial murderer go Running around and renting a boat I once thought for sure that he'd slit my throat But now he's my favorite murderer goat me like prey and leaves creepy notes anyone who'd mess with me now they won't because of my marvelous murderous goat <laughs> 